Ah, oh, shoot! Oh, 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 my father's rich. I'll give you anything you want. Oh, I'm vice president, too. I really am. You, you want to be the ambassador to France? Shut up, frat boy. I want my 1523. Oh, oh. oh I'm the only... I'd give it to you if I, if I did. The pizza. I want to know how the pizza fits in. Don't make me tell you. You'll kill me. There's no military takeover of the United States, is there? The Army, Navy, and Air Force couldn't agree on what kind of shit to serve on a shingle, let alone how to take over the country. Right? <laughs> right. I lied. Well, come on, fess up. I smoked pot in college. My grade point average is in the low twos. My father pulled strings to get me into the National Guard. <laughs> the pizza, Julia. I just want to know who ordered that pizza. <laughs> That's enough, Elmo. It was me. I ordered the pizza. You? It was you? Come with me. Johnny. Johnny, I don't get it. I was worried sick when you didn't show up after that last delivery. Where you been all these years? Where do you think I've been? I'm Donald Trump. I know. You were a pizza man. And a pretty good one. That was back in the early 70s. I'm a billionaire now. Donald Trump. The Trump Palace. The Trump Plaza. The Trump Shuttle. The Trump game, the Trump book. Trump, Trump, Trump! Trump, huh? Trump. No, doesn't ring a bell. Why'd you leave the pizza business anyway? To become a billionaire. Pay attention, will you, Elmo? <laughs> now I'm rich, powerful. People worship me like a god. Beautiful women throw themselves at my feet. Oh, okay, Trump, yes. I, you're Marla Maple's boyfriend, right? I saw something about that at the newsstand. She's got nice legs. Hey, aren't you going bankrupt or something? I've had some recent financial problems. They made me look back over my life, searching for where I went wrong. How I could rise so high, only to teeter on the brink of failure. And do you know what my mistake was? Offhand, I'd guess that you over-leveraged your assets, threw away money on pointless extravagances, ran short of cash, and then falsely assumed that real estate values would rise indefinitely. No. No. It was you. You. I should have destroyed you while I had the chance. Me? Why me? When we met back in the early 70s, I, I was confused. I, I didn't know what to do with my life. I was a young man. I was trying to find fulfillment in something. I wanted to serve humanity. And that's when it came to me. Pizza man. To serve hot food to a hungry world. To be a lone ranger in an urban jungle. An angel on wheels. Delivering nourishment in a box. I wanted to be the best pizza man in the world. I bought a Chrysler. I got a job at Vince's, and I was good at it. I was a good pizza man. Yeah, you were. Not bad at all. But not the best, Elmo, because you're the best. You're the best pizza man in the world, and you always will be. And then, it hit me. What? The hours are lousy, and the pay sucks. And so I gave up. I ordered an extra large sausage and anchovy pizza, my favorite. Delivered it to myself, ate some, threw away the rest, and walked away. So you're the one who stiff fits. Yeah, Elmo. I went back to New York, and with the help of my father's millions and some loose credit, 
I was able to build a massive financial empire. I invented the art of the deal. I was the envy of all around me. I had everything everyone wanted. I could buy anything, anyone. But in the back of my mind, I knew I was a failure because you didn't care. You would never be jealous of me because you were the best pizza man in the world. So why should you care so much what I think? You're a symbol, Elmo, a symbol of my weakness. It's people like you that don't spend money in a Taj Mahal. People like you that call in my loans, that make fun of me in cartoons, that think they're better than me, but I'm the best, the best. So I set this whole thing up, Elmo. I ordered the pizza just to stiff you. And the Japanese aren't buying California. They are. They just don't need anyone's permission. So all of this, Bradley and Reagan, Moraro, Nakasone, the quails, whole nine yards were just to stiff me. Yes. Come on in, guys. Dukakis, Milk, and Woodward, all in on it, too. You see, Elmo, I could buy all these men. Reagan was two million. I gave Bradley a consulting job on a bank board. I gave Woodward the book and movie rights. Milken, I bailed him out of a savings and loan scandal. And Quail got an anatomically correct doll. Nakasone got a bikini-clad blonde. And Ferraro just wanted to sleep with Reagan. And what about Dukakis? What did he get? Five bucks and a bottle of wild turkey. It uh, was a cork bottle. But I knew I couldn't buy you, Elmo. So I tricked you. I beat you up. I had you shot at. Anything to get you off the trail. I even blew up Vince's. And the dame? I own her too. Central casting. Sorry, Elmo. I was really starting to fall for you. Yeah, like Skylab, I'm sure. Well, here we are, Donnie. What's it gonna be now? I still want my 1523. I guess the only thing left to do is to kill you. Bulldoze the Ambassador Hotel and build the tallest, ugliest skyscraper in LA with you entombed in a cement foundation. You bastard. You'd gridlock Wilshire Boulevard, wouldn't you? I wanted to beat you, Elmo. Beat you at your own game. But if that means I have to kill you, well, so be it. No. No, you can't. I love him. No! <laughs> Not the sausage, you fool. Your blow is all up. That's the idea, Donnie. Shoot me and we'll all go. Come on, get back. Ollie, in the corner. No, no, Elmo. Let's negotiate this. I'm a master negotiator. You still don't get it. All I want is my 1523. No, no, never. You can have the palace. You can have the plaza. You can even have the Taj Mahal. But never, never. Will I give you your 1523? All right, we'll do it your way. But this is for Vince and the kid. Reach into my bra. Oh. I'm not in the mood right now. No, there's something there. Take it. I stole that from Trump. 
I gave my life to get that for you. Till 1523 exactly. Want no tip? Take my car. That's your tip. Elmo. On warm nights like this. Remember. Yeah, I'd remember her. I'd remember that smooch she gave me before I got pushed off the cliff. Like I remember the first time I'd had a whiskey sour at Musso and Frank's. Like the first time I saw a matinee at Grauman's Chinese. Like the first time I drove down the strip while the sun was rising. Pleasant memories. She wasn't too bad for a dame. As for the rest, I wouldn't miss them. Well, Vince and the kid, of course. I'll never be able to look at another extra large without a tear in my eye for Vince. But I was glad to be rid of the others, Donnie, Ronnie, Danny, all of them. It was like a burden had been lifted from my shoulders, like waking from a nightmare that had lasted ten long years. One thing I knew, and I knew it for certain, the 80s were over. <laughs> 